Good morning, fellow entrepreneurs who are here this morning. My name is Andy Lakumalo. Um, I too am, like you, an entrepreneur. Um, I too, like you, come from this beautiful city we call Devon. Uh, MyStartupSA.com is basically a platform I launched earlier this year that is seeking to connect entrepreneurs um, in South Africa. Um, I happen to have a very clear view that entrepreneurship is the one thing that can change the game. I think that for far too long we keep moaning and moaning about our problems, but I think it takes special people like the people in this room who just get up and do it. And in South Africa we've got some amazing entrepreneurs. And what we have done is that we've used and abused our networks to put in front of you, the entrepreneurs, the best in the game. There are three principles why I'm a business person. Three principles why I'm an entrepreneur. One, I want to make money for my family. Two, I want to do something for society. Last but not least, as Andy Le might have alluded, um, I'm a Christian and I want to build a kingdom. People desire to be self-employed but aren't willing to pay the price of being an entrepreneur. At the end of the day, life is about what you invest rather than what you get out of it. When you're self-employed, you'll end up being rich. When you're an entrepreneur, you end up being wealthy. The difference between the two is that a rich person chases after money. A wealthy person, money chases after him. A rich person is dependent on talent. An entrepreneur is dependent on purpose. A self-employed person works hard because he enjoys what he's doing. An entrepreneur works hard because he wants to serve others. And sometimes life takes you through challenges. But as young people, whatever we do, we want to see instant results. We want people to see that this thing that I'm doing is working. We want to see money, we want to buy cars, we want to do this. Sometimes the challenge that I'm going through is not to help you outside, but to help you inside. Because you know who you are and what you want in life, your time is important to your vision, not to other people. So there will be things that people call you to get involved in. You have to ask yourself, is it connected to where I am or not? If it's not, don't do it. Life will prepare you with or without your permission. The question is, are you going to learn from that preparation or not? It is my pleasure to introduce to you Mrs. Ipileng Mkari, a pioneering entrepreneur. Ladies and gentlemen, Ms. Ipileng Mkari. It is a true honor. Thank you very much, Andile and Monge. I loved my big my opening. Thank you, Andile. But the truth is, a lot of you don't know what it took to get there. You don't know the journey that one has traveled. And today, instead of me telling you about the great things we've done, I'm not going to do that. I'm going to tell you of the failures I had to overcome. Success in this particular environment is typically dismal. And my theme is about overcoming failure. Because to actually be truly successful as an entrepreneur, you have to be able to overcome failure a number of times in your life. I read a very, very um, interesting, very brief statement by Bill Gates, which said, it's fine to celebrate success, but it's more important to hear the lessons of failure. Those of us who, the few of us who are here, who are entrepreneurs, know how difficult it has been and the sacrifices that you had to make because in the typical day-to-day -day world more of us actually fail in this particular journey it is rough unsexy risky back-breaking long-term but but highly rewarding after decades of what i understand as understanding and heeding the lessons learned from your failures. I'm a very strong believer in my maker and in myself. And it's the second part that I believe has helped me throughout my career to actually overcome failure and therefore succeed. And therefore see how I can actually address the next problem and the next challenge. I really want to say it is easy to celebrate one's successes today but it's more important and harder to face one's failures and to learn from them. Any entrepreneur here can vouch that they've faced more failures and successes 
And further, that their approach and attitude to those and overcoming their failures was far more defining than the success itself. Thank you so much for listening intently. It's been an absolute honor and a pleasure to be with you. Thank you. In conclusion, that one of the ladies asked the question, what do you say to yourself? Is there a pep talk? They were asking me, Bilang, that you give when things are not working out. The one thing we all know for sure as entrepreneurs, and I can certainly attest to that, is that those moments come often. Very, very often. Focus on what it's going to be like when that stuff is gone. That gets me back. Ladies and gentlemen, thank you very much. So today, we were here in Durban uh, for the I Am An Entrepreneur series. Uh, we had Ipileng Mkari, who was our guest entrepreneur. She was absolutely amazing. And she did something particularly different from other entrepreneurs. She spoke about and focused on failure. And she talked about all the events in her life, which were defining moments, which were the moments that made her a better entrepreneur and a better leader. Um, she started personally about her story, um, her folks divorcing, her mom dying at the cusp of her career. Um, the first, what she thought was a business opportunity that was legit, turned out to be something other than what she expected, but how she used that in order to, be, to, to become the success that we all know her to be. Absolutely amazing, great crowd, great questions, a lot of insights, uh, and clearly a big need amongst entrepreneurs to have more and more interactions with people who've walked this path before, who can talk about the really important stuff, and perhaps the stuff that we shouldn't pay too much attention to. So, I thought it was a brilliant day, and I look forward to Cape Town. Thanks a lot, Deben, for your support, for your love. I'm an entrepreneur, I was in Devon on the 26th. People came in, learned, thanks to Impilane. If you want to grow, listen to those who have done it before. And I am praying and hoping that when we come back next year, we're going to have double the numbers and more greater lessons. Um, well, the event was very uh, enlightening, very inspiring as well. And as Reno, South Africa, you know, we're very proud to be involved with such an initiative that is actually uplifting and empowering young entrepreneurs because uh, we do believe that they will uh, influence this nation highly. This has been an amazing experience for me. Uh, my startup SA, Power of One, I am truly inspired. Um, all I can say is that I wish you great, great success. Um, I really, really believe that the initiative is so critical for people in business, not just young people, people in business, to understand what entrepreneurship is about and, and to actually just be so accessible to individuals who've been there and done that. I have personally taken out so much. I've learned myself. Um, this is a learning journey. So thank you. Uh, it's been an honor. Truly blessed.